I love indie comics, and the advice that I give anyone who wants to get started making their own comics is to just start off by making a mini comic. I talk a lot about mini comics on this channel, and because of that, people send me their mini comics, and I just love getting them, so I say, keep them coming. <laughs> Greetings people of the internet, I'm Scott with Circworks Art Labs. Welcome mad creators to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. And for me, when I create those things, they're usually in the form of a comic book. I create a lot of comics and I talk a lot about creating comics. So much in fact that, like I said, people send me their mini comics, talk a lot about mini comics. I talk about the process of making comics. I've created a whole series called Making Comics 101 that takes you step by step the whole process of making comics. And that's a great resource that's out there for free for everyone. But there are people out there that want a little more information. So a lot of people have been reaching out to me wanting to know if I could do a little personal one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions or maybe like a group session and kind of help them in their process of creating comics so uh, okay so we have some mail if you're not familiar how that works we get mail right here in the delivery system we're gonna get to that in a minute but before I do let me carry on with my thought all right so where was I so throughout the history of me doing this channel talking about comics I've had a lot of people want a little more than just what this channel has to offer and if you ask me it has a lot to offer there's a lot of information out there but there is a lot there are a few people out there that want just a little more personal Personal attention so uh, recently I've had more people approach me with this idea and I've always this is always something I've been wanting to do but I haven't got around to doing it and I'm like you know what I gotta pull the trigger on this I got to do this so I just decided you know what better way to do this is to offer like a mentorship program or an apprenticeship program so just to expedite everything make it quick I kind of worked it into my patreon so right now I'm offering two new tiers on my patreon and this may change this move may move off of Patreon if I find that it's just not the best platform for that. But just because, like I said, I want to get this out there and start doing this, that uh, I set up these two tiers on Patreon. So one of them is, it's called Creative Mastermind. The first tier that you can jump in on that, it's a group session. So, and right now might be a good time to jump in that group session because I'm just starting, so there might not be a lot of people in there. So you may get more personal attention. However, if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one thing, I have another tier for that. And that's going to be personal to your project then the the advantage to join that one is that as opposed to the group one is that if you don't want anyone else sometimes when you're creating your your comics and everything you don't really want to share that with other people necessarily or like I said you just want more personal attention so those are sort of the differences between those two so there's the the private mentorship and then there is the group apprenticeship so if that's something you guys might be interested in doing this is sort of like I said I'm just launching this so we're gonna see where it goes what happens with it but basically what you're gonna get is an exploratory session with me even if you're on the group session your first session will be just one-on-one -on -one to kind of find out where you are and then from then in we'll kind of all join in the group and if you're doing the private mentorship you'll get that and then after that I'll be offering at least an hour-long coaching session with you guys talking about your projects your goals what you know if you're having any problems with comics or you need advice you know any of the experience that I've had that I can you know help you guys out with that's what I'm gonna be there for and also like in the group session there it may be an advantage to having some other people in there uh, as well as myself and I may try to bring in other people to kind of if there's something specifically that somebody's more of an expert at than me then uh, maybe I'll bring them in but that's sort of what it is in a nutshell and with this you're gonna get all the other benefits that come with being a member of the Patreon. It's a great community. I do ex you know, some exclusive videos. I get the videos that you're seeing here usually go out early. There's sketch giveaways. So yeah, check out my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description of this video. Also at the end of the video, we'll tell you how to get there and everything. But check it out. Lots of cool rewards. And, uh, and yeah, if you want that personal attention, that is now an option for you guys. Right now, it's sort of a limited time offer. You know, I mean, as far as the price and everything. So, you know, introductory offer. Go check it out now. Who knows? If I got a lot of people coming in wanting that, then, you know, I may have to put a cap on it or whatever. But right now, it's open. So now it's 
kind of the time to get in if you've ever been thinking about doing that. And of course with Patreon, you know, you can join and there's, it's not like a commitment for a year or anything like that. You can jump in and jump off uh, whenever you want. And you know, you can kind of try it out for, for what it's worth. And, and I think it's gonna be worth a lot. So check it out. And as soon as we have things going like that, maybe I'll give some more testimonials from people that are actually in the course and everything. But uh, but yeah, jump on that if you if it's something you want. And uh, like I said, we've got some mail coming in, some mini comics, and uh, I want to check them out. So we're gonna go here to the Vaculux, and we're gonna see what we have. All right, so we've got a couple. Looks like a couple letters, some mini comics. If you don't know what the Vaculux is, it is our mail delivery system here in the underground lair. We can't send giant packages. Letters like these little mini comics, I guess you could probably fit them in there if you squished them, but we don't want to squish up those cool mini comics. So we've reduced them in size, we switched them around, and now all we have to do is, where is my, there we go. <laughs> we just add a little water to these, bring them back to normal size, and then we can check them out. All right, so we got two letters, which I believe in case of these are some mini comics. I had some people telling me that they've been sending them. It took a little while to get there, I think, because it looks like both of these are international. We've got one, this one looks like it's from the UK, Royal Mail, and this one is from Canada. So if you're not familiar, I'm here in the US. Yeah, so very cool, and I know it gets pricey to ship stuff. I think it's less, I think it's less expensive for people to ship stuff to US than it is for us to ship to you guys. But anyway, I really do thank anyone that's sending these out. So let's dive in. And I am just a huge mini comic. So this is the one from the UK. We're going to open this. All right, try to be careful here. All right, what do we got here? So, okay, so like I said, uh, it's, it's, got, it's wrapped in a Christmas card, so you can tell like it takes a little while to get here. Plus, sometimes things get stuck in the Vaculex, so that's probably more of a, just saying thank you for the Making Comics 101. So another, like I said, if you're interested in that whole Patreon thing, um, there is sort of an endorsement here. People do love uh, Making Comics 101, and that's kind of the thing you're gonna get with the uh, Patreon thing. But oh, so this is very cool. Now I did, I have done, probably my most popular video is one on on how to make stickers. I'm still working on a new updated version of that, uh, but it looks like they took my advice or maybe they just did it on their own. I mean, I didn't kind of come up with it, but they made their own retro gaming sticker pack. And I love this because it looks like a little state space invader guy, although it does, it looks like it's their own version of it. So very cool. I can't see the other ones. I'm not going to open these up right now, but very cool. And this is from Ewan, who he's always on uh, on the he comment in the comment sections and everything. So it's very cool to get to see what he's up to and doing some stuff. Oh man, this is awesome! All right, so here we go. This is my hench minion, my little hench minion guy right here. I don't know if you can see that guy, but. Ewan did his own sketch card of the hench minion. So that is so cool. I love that, man. It looks like Copic markers, maybe. Uh, very cool. And just, just little elements of the underground layer back there. That is, that is so awesome. All right, so we've got, looks like three mini comics here. We've got this one, In a World Where Pigs Fly. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about creating mini comics. And this is one way, the way they fold these. And I haven't talked about this. I'm probably gonna talk about some of the different ways that you can create it, but this is a popular way to do it. And I, I really love getting these kind of things. Just very cool. I just love when people, you know, put you know, put their heart and soul into their own comics and everything. And mini comics are the way to do that because they're so they're so personal and you can create them any way you want. There's no format or anything like that. This is the three great adventurers. Another awesome mini comic. It's done sort of in the same format. And then here's another popular format where it is, what do we got here? Another Merry Christmas note. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'll take that off of there. And so this is another popular one where it's just, uh, it's like half uh, eight and a half by 11 pay. Uh, and maybe if you are in the UK, maybe it's it's called something different because you guys don't have in, you don't use inches that we use the metric system. But I know there's like A4 and all those. I don't really know what those are. But anyway, so a standard sheet of paper cut in half and then uh, and then just folded. And you know, and if you check that, check this out. Just awesome. I just love this thing. So thank you, Ewan, for sending this out. I really appreciate it. I just love seeing. You know, the stuff that I talk about, people taking that and kind of realizing it and, and, and doing their own comics. And uh, and like I said, if you have your own mini comics, just shoot me an email at scott at circus.com. 
and then I'll let you know where you guys can send those and I, I'd love to check them out. So this is the one, this one's from Canada. Let's see what we got here. And this is from Craig. I don't know if Craig wants me to mention his last name, so I won't. And then we got, cool, I also love the personal letter. I'm gonna read that in a minute. <laughs> awesome, awesome, okay, oh man, these are, oh wow, these are cool. It looks, oh man, okay. So, oh man, I'm just getting, I'm lucking out with the sketch cards. I got another sketch card, and look at this. I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve just so it shows better up on the camera here. Hopefully, I know my camera's not really focused, but can you guys see that? I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie sketch, very cool, another Copic zombie sketch. I also love sketch cards, and I've tied, there's a few videos, if you go kind of way back on my, my uh, channel where I do a lot of sketch cards and things. Also on the Patreon, I did some Christmas sketch cards for people, so there's extra stuff like that also on the Patreon. But uh, comic snacks, so he said, one of the things he said in his letters, these are snack size, so I love that. And I love the fact, here, this is what I was laughing about, was it's, it's got like real photos here and then it's an interact, you know, the kind of where you take, it's almost like the Roger Rabbit thing where you take the real life uh, scenes uh, from, you know, photographs or movies and then you combine your characters in it. So are these, oh yeah, they are, they're full color mini comics, which is, you don't see that a lot, so that's kind of cool to see. We've got a full color mini comics. I love this armadillo character. He's, that's, that's a really, I love that pose, that's pretty cool. And then we've got the we got number two here. I'm crawling up walls through the city, some great perspective shots and everything. Man, this is great. Craig, man, thank you so much. I get a lot of mini comics, but I don't get a lot of color mini comics, so that's kind of that's really cool. And uh, yeah, I just love. Oh, uh, so it's not it's not an armadillo, it's a pangolin. So and it talks a little bit about pangolins on the back. Um, man, I just this guy. I've done so. I used to work on a video game called uh, Misgrits, and we did all kinds of. We took, it's kind of like a sort of a Pokemon style fighting game, but we would do this. We would take like real creatures and we kind of tweak them around and, and add things to them and make creature, you know, fictional creatures out of them. And I think I did one that was sort of this pangolin type creature. But man, I just love this stuff. So thanks for the mini comics, both you guys, you and Craig. I appreciate it. Again. Wanted to remind you guys, if you want more training or you want you know, additional help with your comics, either in a group setting or a one-on basis, check out that Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. And if I don't see you there, I'll see you next week right here on the YouTube channel. That is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Circworks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. If you like making comics, then go to Circworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.